So in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about makeup and more specifically my curated minimalist makeup collection. Um, that's kind of a mouthful to say. If you're interested in watching that, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I personally believe that I have less items in my makeup collection than the average person, at least the average person on YouTube, only because the less stuff I have, the easier it is for me to get ready. And that goes with my clothes as well. I do have a capsule wardrobe, actually. If anyone's actually interested in watching that, like do a, a video on my most worn pieces, just go ahead and comment down below and maybe I could do like a, a clothes related video. But anyways, I do have like a curated makeup collection as well. And I'm first going to start off with skin products so like foundations and concealers the foundation that i have is this wet and wild photo focus foundation and this is the dewy finish um this is a foundation that matches my tanner skin in the summertime and this is a foundation that i use when i want a little more coverage my kitty joined me like when i want a little more coverage or when i'm going to a wedding or i'm going to some kind of event um for example right now i don't have any foundation or tinted moisturizer on my skin I just have some blush and yeah so I only use this when I want that extra little bit of coverage and if I'm going to a special event you know like something that requires me to have like a full face of makeup the second skin product that I have is this Perito um Sika I think it's pronounced Sika clearing BB cream and oh I'm so sorry my foundation was in the color light medium and then this Perito BB cream is in the color number 21 light beige and this is a really nice lightweight very dewy skin product that gives me very sheer to light coverage I really appreciate this especially in the winter and fall times um, because it is very moisturizing on the skin and it makes your skin look flawless like it takes away all of your pores without it looking cakey and this actually fits my fall and winter and spring um, complexion so right now it is a little bit too light for me but this is a really good product and I will be repurchasing this when I do run out of it and then moving on to a concealer that I have which is the only concealer it is this NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color 2.3 Madeline. So this concealer is definitely well known in the beauty community because it does, it's so creamy, so luxe feeling. It doesn't um, amplify my fine lines. This is a really good concealer. However, the only reason I would not repurchase is because it is not cruelty free. Um, I am looking into new concealers after this one is done. Um, fantastic, superb concealer. And like I said, the only reason I'm not repurchasing is because it's not cruelty free. And I am trying to, um, anything that I am going to purchase, um, I want it to be cruelty free. So if I do have some items here that are not, it's because I've had them for a while. And, um, I didn't just, I only up until recently that I decide that I wanted to purchase things that were a little more environmentally friendly and cruelty free maybe maybe some are vegan so that's why this one I've, I've had it for a while <laughs> but I mean I'm almost done with it there's like some separation in there but yeah so good stuff but I will not be repurchasing and that is the nurse concealer moving on to the only face powder that I have and it is this may or may not be considered a powder foundation um, I guess it does it all. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And it's this beautiful iridescent um, packaging. And this is just amazing. This is a really nice creamy um, powder, like foundation powder CC cream. That, But it's not liquid or cream. It's powder. But it feels so creamy and so luxurious on your skin. And this is definitely a medium to full coverage item. This is a really nice airbrush looking powder. If you want to look seamless and flawless and if you want all your pores to disappear, if you want your fine lines to disappear, this is the product to wear. And it looks very natural too. It looks very 
um, iridescent on your skin. I guess this really reflects like what it would look like on your skin. And yeah, it just looks really good. And I feel like it works with the oils of your skin as well. This is a really good powder um, and I would 100% repurchase. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. All right, the next thing that I have is blush. So for my blush, I do have two. I have a cream blush and then I have a powder brush. No, a powder blush. So I have a like a liquid slash cream and then I do have a powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this powder one. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Unstoppable. This is a really nice dusty rose color. Like this is the epitome of dusty rose and it just looks really good on my skin tone. This is a really creamy product. It's really creamy um, when it applies to your skin and it's really easy to blend. You could sheer it out so it's not so opaque and it just looks really good it is my only negative that I would say about this blush is that it's a little matte like it's a little too mattifying like it's on my skin and it doesn't have any kind of sheen any kind of glow to it I mean maybe it's coming up on the on the camera but because I do have I had just put lotion on but yeah it doesn't have any kind of like sheen or sparkle or anything so it's like a little too mattifying but yeah this is a really good blush would I repurchase? No. So the I actually got this for free. I wouldn't repurchase this on my own or I wouldn't purchase this on my own. Um, I After I finish this off, I will be on the market for a new powder blush, um, especially one that's maybe like the same shade because I really love this shade, but I don't, I'm not like super moist about the formulation i'm not super excited about the product itself so um i will be on the market for a new blush but in the meantime you know it's, it's okay um and so this is the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the color unstoppable the next um blush that i have it's this liquid slash creamy blush and this is by Glossier. This is their cloud paint in the color Beam. I feel like I don't need to say much about this product only because it's so well known. But this is a superb product for the clean skin aesthetic. So, you know, all you have to do is put like dab a little bit on your cheeks. I'm actually wearing this right now. All you have to do is dab a little bit on your cheeks and it looks so natural, so good. It blends like a dream. You could blend it with your finger, with the sponge, with the brush. I've used all of it and it all just looks really good. Um, my only negative that I would say about this product is the packaging. I wish it came with like an applicator like a like a wand applicator because when you it's just like a big hole I mean not a big hole but it's just like a hole and so when you squirt the product out of it um, it just squirts out like crazy so that's my only qualm is that I would love for it to have a some kind of better application method but I mean it's a phenomenal product will I repurchase absolutely I will continue to repurchase these cloud paints for the rest of my life until I expire. So moving on to an eyebrow stick, is that what you would call it? An eyebrow pencil. Moving on to an eyebrow pencil and this is my new more preferred method of applying my eyebrows. It comes with a spoolie brush on one end and then the retractable um, pencil on the other end and this product is simply immaculate. Like I can't even fathom how good this product is for the price so this is I believe like six or seven dollars I picked it up and it works like a dream like this product is creamy but dry enough to where it doesn't smear on your eyebrows like especially me because I'm a pretty like moist and shiny individual this product doesn't like smear and look all nasty and oily on my skin because it's like dry enough to where it doesn't do that but then you know when you apply it it does go on a little rough because it's a pencil and then the spoolie edge you could just blur it out and it looks so good and so natural in my opinion i think it's natural i mean it's what i'm wearing on my eyebrows right now and i will be repurchasing this so this is the nyx cosmetics micro brow pencil in the color brunette um, moving on to the two eyebrow gels or eyebrow mascaras, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have two in my arsenal right now. 
Um, one of them is drugstore, one of them is high-end. So one of them is this Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. And I don't think this says what color it's in. Oh, this is in the color 3, which is brownie brows. Um, this is a really nicely pigmented brow gel. My only qualm about this product is that it doesn't really hold in your brows all that well. Like, it doesn't paste your brows down. Um, with that being said, the only reason I really, really enjoyed this product is because of the extra tint that it gave my brows. Like, this is extremely tinted. And then I really like the brush. It's a nice big brush, which doesn't really... You don't really find a lot in brow products, so I really appreciate that it's like a nice bigger brush and I like that it's mega tinted, but the only thing that sucks is that it doesn't really glue your eyebrows all that well, it doesn't hold them in place. Would I repurchase this? No, I won't repurchase because I have found something that I like just a little bit better and then I don't want to have both, so after I use this up, I won't be repurchasing. And moving on to my last brow product is this. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is the product I was saying that I like more than the Essence Brow Gel because this, it makes, it really holds your eyebrow hairs into place and then it gives you a nice tint. So this pretty much has it all. Of course, however, however, the, the spoolie sucks. Like the spoolie is really small. Like, look how small that is. It's so tiny. Like, how am I supposed to draw my eyebrows in with that small of a brush? Like, I guess there's no point in me doing that. But, yeah, like, I love the, the pigment of this. I love that it really holds your eyebrows into place. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about it is that the, the spoolie is so small. Like, the brush, the applicator is so small. But will I be repurchasing it? Absolutely. Like... I will be repurchasing um, this Benefit Gimme Brow. Hey. Oh, my cat's being so annoying. I will be repurchasing this Benefit Gimme Brow, and then I will be repurchasing the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil. So this is like my duo for life. God, it's like I pet her and then she goes crazy. I hate it but I love it. Next thing is mascara. So for mascara, I actually just have one. It's this Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. And this mascara, honestly, is not that good for what I want it for. So I like my mascaras to be lengthening. I like really dramatic, long, spider leg mascaras. And this mascara just thickens. Like this works to thicken, but I don't really need that in my life. I want long lashes. So I will not be repurchasing this. I think the next mascara I buy will be the Thrive um, Fiber Mascara. Like the, the one in the green tube. That is some really, really good stuff. Let me tell you. The only thing is that it doesn't last for some reason. Like I go through it so fast. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a really small bottle, but it's like a full size. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't last, but that's a really good mascara. And that's the mascara that I'm going to purchase after I run out of this. So with that being said, the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, will I be repurchasing? No, no ma'am. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the only eyeshadow that I have. I've gotten rid of all of my eyeshadows. I've gotten rid of my bronzer, which I used to double up as an eyeshadow. So I only have one left. And this is the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow single in the color Sin. This is all you need. Like, honestly, I could probably use this as a highlight too. Let's go ahead and let's try this as a highlight. I'm just going to, honestly, this is clean. I'm just going to grab this. Let's... I have a mirror here. I don't know why I'm suffering. I bet I could use this as like a highlight. I would use my finger, but my finger's dirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's like all you need. But yeah, this is really good product and a really good color and it makes you look more put together. It makes you look like you put a lot of effort into your makeup in the morning and as you just saw, it just doubled up as a highlight. So I love, it's probably not even blended all that well, but like I did it really fast with this fluffy brush. Like, give me a break. Yeah, this product, I actually got it because I saw Brooke Michio 
here on YouTube talking about it and I mean she does her makeup like she cares about efficiency when she does her makeup so that's why I bought it and I don't regret it at all so this product this is a one step product if all you have is this and mascara and like um, an eyebrow gel that's all you need and you look put together so yeah so I would highly recommend I not only would I repurchase this but I would recommend this to other people this is the Urban Decay single shadow in the color sin okay so I actually have to speed up this video because it's taking a billion years so I'm gonna move on to my lipsticks and I have three of the Revlon uh, what is this this is the super lustrous shine lipsticks and I have three and I have one in glazed mauve um, glossed up rose and glaring coral and these lip products are honestly so good they're so creamy they're so long-lasting but unfortunately you know Revlon is not cruelty free so I will not be repurchasing these products but these are really good lipsticks like I guess if you don't care about that stuff definitely check these lipsticks out um, I won't be repurchasing um, I have been looking at the fresh tinted lip balms um, I think those might be a good substitute for these or maybe just do like the whole lip pencil lip gloss combo but I'm not sure so these are just the lipsticks that I have and I will continue to use them until they run out and then yeah that's it for these and now moving on to my like lip glosses slash lip balms um, the first thing that I have is this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is one of the products that I will continue to, if I could open it, I will continue to repurchase this forever. It's just so juicy as the name states. It's so juicy and it feels really good on the lips. It's not really tinted, even though the container is a little corally. It's not really tinted, but it feels really good on the lips and it smells good. It's not like overly sticky it's a really good product i would really recommend it and i believe if it's it was under like eight dollars so i would highly recommend that product and i would be repurchasing now my last two products here i do have this lip gloss and this is the maybelline filter lip gloss um this is the one with hyaluronic acid and this is in the color moon um as you can see i'm like halfway done with it this is such a wonderful product it's so plumping it's so hydrating it makes your lips feel good it like it takes away all the little wrinkles in your lips um it's like it's hyaluronic acid it's like plumping it makes your lips look like little peaches i don't know it looks really good but you know maybelline is not cruelty free so i wouldn't repurchase this but um, after I'm done with this lip gloss, I am going to probably get the Glossier lip gloss only because I hear a lot of hype around them. Um, but yeah, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Moon. Last but not least, I have this tinted lip balm. This is the Honest Beauty tinted lip balm in the color Plum Drop. This is a really nice product. Um, it's nice and balmy and it has like a nice little like tint to it it's really nice i haven't really reached for this for some reason i think it's because i have like a i have another one called dragon fruit i have it in my purse right now that i prefer that color a little more especially you know we just got done with the summertime um but maybe i'll whip this out during the during the colder months you know a nice little deep plum color yeah this is a really nice product also i will continue to repurchase these honest tinted lip balms um i would say they're very similar to the fresh tinted lip balms except these are literally like six or eight dollars each um i'm surprised a lot of people don't know about these either so if you're on the market for a tinted lip balm that performs similar to the fresh ones i would recommend this honest beauty one but yeah that is all for my curated minimalist makeup collection if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe leave me a comment let me know what is your favorite cruelty free makeup product and also let me know which one of these items you've tried and what you think about it so thank you again so much for watching and I'll see everyone again next time. Bye!